Hi, this is Nisim. Today we are going to do a brief about all the updates that I saw uh, added to the Confi UI. I'm now working with version 0.3.10. This is the latest version that released a couple of days ago. And I want to show you some of the updates that exist since 0.3.6 and 7 to this version. So let's get started. First of all, we have a new feature that's called key binding. Technically, you can uh, add different keys to different uh, actions so you can do them. Also, you can see everything that exists today and search by key, let's say fit. And you can see the, the key binding that exists. This is super helpful because now you can actually find whatever changes in the, in the UI and the keystroke that exist. So this is the first one, super handy. I already added some uh, keys as you see here in blue. Okay, if I am now, at, let's say in this uh, view, and I'm doing Control Alt uh, V, it will reset the view so I can just come back to the original uh, location. Second, uh, as you know uh, before, when you select multiple uh, elements and you want to drag them, you, you should uh, use Shift and drag. But since the latest version, you can just drag them. So I can select whatever want I want with control. I press control and drag, and I can drag them without any shift uh, stroke and on any of the elements. Good, super handy, and thank you very much for, for this update for the uh, Confi team. Okay, now I want to show you something that it's not so new, but it's I don't see a lot of people that are using it. You can see that action when I select multiple, you see they're connected to each other. If I do Control C and Control V, you see that they are they are connected one to the other. Okay, but if I do Control Shift V, they are all keep connected to the to the previous one. So you see that that bench and that bench. See, they, they, are, they are connected. It's very helpful if you just want to uh, duplicate it and now you want to change something so you have two flows completely different and uh, yeah, super handy. Okay, workflow. There was a big change about workflow. You change, now we can use multiple workflow in the same tab. I don't need to, to open another uh, config. Let's say I'm opening another one. So now I have two, uh, two uh, tabs, okay? Now, I prefer not to do that. Instead of that, they added here in the top lots of goodies. One of them is the workflow. If I uh, go now, this is uh, another new uh, menu. If I click on workflow template and I select a new one, now you see I have two, two uh, tabs. I can jump between them. So I can go to the previous one, do changes, do whatever I want, ta 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 ta. And then I'm going to the other one and it's still, and I can jump between them. I can do control S to save them to, uh, to a specific uh, file name. To work with multiple, it's like really amazing. So I prefer to uh, also use this one for different uh, testing scenario. So I can just jump, jump uh, between them. The problem is that when you reload or something, thing will gone. So if you need, if you need it, don't refresh because you will lose things that are not saved. So please pay, pay attention to this point. Another cool feature that they added is that it was with the profiler uh, ex, uh, node, custom node that is not available. It's not uh, working anymore. Instead of that, now we have it built in. Let's select something. Let's select uh, that one, that uh, model, and run it. Now, the thing that will happen, you will start to see the execution time for each action uh, on top of each node. You will see it now. Okay, as you saw here, it took 14 seconds to load the, the checkpoint, the model itself. This is only the first time. The second time will be, it doesn't need to, to do that. Second, to process the clip itself, like 0 0.3, 0 0.03 seconds, and the sampler itself took 3.3 seconds. So it's very convenient to have, to have those uh, uh, time so you will know where do you lose most of the time and uh, it's just convenient i use it all the time okay top menu let's look here we have this top menu which is really convenient we have here you can do like any application do new open browse 
the the both template just give you different template that you can click on and just use it as you see it just add me another one so i can jump between them okay so it's, it, it didn't last so it's very convenient but the only thing that happened here you can see that the bar is start to grow and grow and grow i have here some um, uh, stuff that i added and now it's really uh, start to become bigger this is the only thing that uh, bothered me but it's fine it's okay a uh, workflow uh, you have here also save and export so it's really really uh, handy and if you need to refresh then the nodes you can just come here to edit and refresh and then you just scan again all the nodes and uh, all the model and LoRa etc or if you will click on, on R the same thing it do the same action very very convenient thank you very much for confi team okay there is something very cool that I that I, I enabled it's called a uh, grid snapping if you want to use it if I'm zooming here you will see that when I'm dragging you see that that it's a snap to a specific uh, rect so if you like to have it like in a very orderly and everything aligned, you, you can use it. You're doing this by going to the settings, light graph, and you have here always snap to grid. I enable it. It's uh, turn off by default. Turn it on and it will help you to snap. Like it's uh, look uh, better in the eye. So you can just drag it and it will be like the space will be even etc okay another cool feature which is a quick zoom you can do control shift and mouse drag and just zoom to the specific location you cannot do it on text if you do it on text it will just do nothing but if you are outside the text and drag it will it will be great it's like it's uh, it's better if you're working on mac and your uh, mouse is really fast so it will be much easier for you to work with i want to add another uh, quick section on this bar that you have here on the bottom uh, right you can zoom from uh, with the key with the mouse itself and you can do the fit uh, to view so we just fit everything also you can uh, click on toggle link so you won't see the lines. So if you get something from someone that uh, you don't see the line, just click here and you will see them. It's uh, good when you have uh, too many elements, but uh, you, you won't understand what connect to what. So just know it exists. That's it. And thank you very much. This was a quick update about the new features and new action that you can do in the Confi UI. Like and subscribe, help me to spread the word, and I will see you in the next tutorial.